Hey guys, Ryan Kearns here and thanks for coming. Today I want to talk about the best possible test for diagnosing Lyme disease. And you know, in a world filled with big pharmaceutical companies, big insurance companies, and doctors that listen to the both of them in order to get their money, it's, uh, it's increasingly important to get a proper diagnosis for Lyme disease so that you can continue and gain treatment from doctors, right? So you need to be able to get that diagnosis or else your insurance companies won't cover you your, um, and the doctors won't treat you. So, you know, it's really important to get a good diagnosis. And it turns out that most of the tests are haphazard and just unuseful the way that they are, right? And doctors are still using them because they don't understand the uh, like complexities of Lyme disease, which, you know, Lyme disease specialists know exactly how complex this disease is and that the diagnosis methods are really not very useful and haphazard. Um, so, you know, most of those tests will show 40 to 60, will show like 40 to 60 percent accuracy, which is just ludicrous, completely ridiculous that, you know, there's still 50 percent of people that aren't being diagnosed properly for Lyme disease, even though that's what they have. So, you know, I really wanted to touch today because I, during my research, I found one particular test that boasts 99 percent accuracy. And, you know, I read about it in the book New Paradigms in Lyme Disease Treatment from Dr. Dietrich Klinghart, who's very known in the Lyme disease community for, you know, really tr being the forefront, the pioneer for treating Lyme disease. You know, he's not the pioneer, but he's one of them. And he's taught other people how to treat Lyme disease properly, and he grows his business as he treats other people and shows other people how to treat other people. So it's really cool and he knows a ton about it. So he, through all his research and his testing with patients, he learned that this one test gave him 99% accuracy. And that one test I'm about to share with you is known as Rolfing and PCR testing. Now, rolfing is a deep tissue mas massage administered to the patient who has Lyme disease. So if you have Lyme disease, they're going to give you a deep tissue massage. I'm not too sure where on the body that he just said a deep tissue massage, but they're going to give you a deep tissue massage. And what this does is it causes the organisms to come out of hiding, if you will, into there and other areas in the body because you know we all know that they they like to hide evade they like to go into the extracellular matrix in our body where they can't be spotted by the immune system and the antibody so we have to get them out of hiding and you know get them out of there and it's been found that massage is one way to do that and then usually after the massage the organisms will land into the human bladder where they'll line the bladder and they like it in there as well oftentimes. So after that, they administer a PCR test to the urine. Now a PCR test takes DNA and magnifies it to a level that's possible for human analysis. So in other words, they take the DNA and blow it up to a size where they can see it and then they can match the DNA to the DNA of whatever infection they're expecting, whether it's Borrelia burgdorferi, you know, or if it's Babesia or Bartonella organisms. Whatever they're, uh, they're searching for within the body, whatever they suspect, they can match that DNA and fully understand what kind of infections you're dealing with with 99% accuracy because of the massage that gets the organisms to come out and the PCR test that blows up that DNA so they can study the DNA and learn exactly what organism it is. And you know, PCR testing has been around for a while, but the main problem was that spirochete loads drop to low levels in the body, especially during treatment. So, so when, those, when the spirochete loads are at such low levels, it's just hard to find them, right? It's really hard to find the organism, so that makes it hard to test the DNA. Also, they change their DNA pretty often. They have 24 sets of extra DNA to change uh, between different um, immune systems and in different bodies so that they can go unnoticed and, and evade the immune system. So that makes it hard too because 
they change their DNA. So it's not just you're searching for one DNA. You actually have to pair it with multiple different forms of DNA to learn exactly which organism it is. So there you have it. That's the best test that you could possibly get for Lyme disease diagnosis is a PCR test mixed with rolfing, which is again a deep tissue massage. Here's the problem. I'm not suspecting that any family doctors are about to start giving deep tissue massages, right? So, you know, these, I'm sure that more and more Lyme disease specialists will be using these tests, but I'm not too sh sure that it's going to make it to mainstream or it's going to make it to like family doctors or the ER or something. That probably won't happen. But if you go to the right Lyme disease specialist, they might be able to administer this test. And I know Dr. Klinghart's probably doing it at Sophia Health Institute. And you can check him out at sophiahealthinstitute.com. And I'm sure you'll love what he can do to help you with his Lyme, with your Lyme disease. He seems like an amazing, amazing doctor with a wealth of knowledge. And uh, so there you have it. That's the number one test you can use, but I just wanted to touch on that today. Pretty soon I'll be uploading a video explaining all the different diagnoses that you'll see in Lyme disease so that you can see you know exactly what other methods are used as compared to that one but again that's probably the best one I've heard especially when it boasts 99% accuracy where else have you heard that right okay thanks a lot guys I'll see you soon bye bye hey guys it's Ryan Kearns thanks for watching that video and I hope you pulled something from it and got value from it I just wanted to let you know that I recently wrote an ebook that details my story of my battle with Lyme disease and how I healed myself with diet, herbs, and healthy conscious living. It's called Lyme Wars. How I counterattacked Lyme with nutrition, herbs, and healthy conscious living. If you're interested, it's actually completely free for the time being. And you can click on the link below or go to lifenutrition.com to get your free copy. If you like what you saw in this video, push subscribe below. And thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.